Hi, I'm Megan Petty, and this is Trader Joe's Already. Um, I work at Trader Joe's and have for the last five and a half years. I also work at Burning Tree Renewal Lodge Addiction Treatment Center, where I am a recovery and mindful mentor, as well as a Qigong, Tai Chi, and yoga teacher. So I like to joke that I am also a recovering perfectionist. I often uh, make excuses. If something's not perfect, I just decide not to do it. So oftentimes when I'm making um, my food, I cook every meal I eat. I'm like, dang, I should really be taking a video of this, making a video so that other people can see how fun, simple, and easy it is to make delicious, healthy food. So um, I decided to stop being selfish and to just put the excuses aside, you know, like not wanting to wear makeup, not dressing up, not having enough good lighting or technical equipment. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to present my authentic self. It's my day off and I'm just hanging around the house doing chores and uh, it feels really nice to relax. So today I'm going to talk to you again about squash. I am super crazy about squash. I love it. Um, I'm going to turn around here so you can see what I've got planned for you. So today I am going to show you a super easy way to cook organic kombucha squash or um, organic spaghetti squash. So I like to get them organic because I do eat the skin. I do want to give you an FYI. Sometimes there's a, a very light layer of wax on uh, dry produce in order to keep it from uh, going bad super quickly. So when you do put it in the oven, it's pretty cool because that wax melts off. And then I just grab like some paper towels and just rub it around and it gets it off. So usually what I do when I cook squash is I get a knife and I cut the ends off and then cut it in half. I take a spoon to score out the seeds and then I bake it. Lately, um, it's pretty exciting and I do want to point out in this, um, on this health and wellness page and that I'm really giving you a lot of ideas, basically, and I want to encourage you to run with them and kind of do your own thing. I, I don't give out recipes, per se, because I really encourage people to be creative and try their own stuff. So, um, and just simple ideas. So, one of those reasons um, that I want to talk about squash today is that oftentimes the cutting of the squash when it's raw is very difficult, and it can you know, dull the knife, uh, you can slip and like cut yourself. And so a lot of times people don't do it because it's not easy to make. What I've been doing lately, and I'm so excited, is I will just put the squash in whole. Now, why I didn't do this before is because I had read or had experienced um, the seeds sometimes make it a, the flesh a little bit bitter. But you know what? I am not um, having that experience now. So I uh, prefer it being super simple over any slight taste difference, which I don't even detect. So I put it in. I've got my oven set at 375. I have it on a baking sheet. I put it in for about 45 minutes. And when it comes out, it's super soft. Then it's very easy to just cut off the ends, cut it in half, score out the seeds. And guess what? Save those seeds because you can wash them and dry them out and then put them on a baking sheet with salt and cook them and they're delicious. They're also really good um, if you have it raw to plant in your garden, pretty cool stuff. So squash just is amazing. It has so many awesome usage, usages. So what I tend to do is that once it's baked and I've scored out the seeds, I save a lot of glass jars. Um, like oftentimes I'm crazy about our artichoke antipasto. So I save these jars and then I use them as uh, Tupperware containers. And what I end up doing, cause this is giant. I mean, these buggers are huge. Look how big they are. 
I will divide them up, put them into those glass jars, and then put them in the freezer. So then I'll pull them out the day before I want them for lunch and just bring it to work. It's pretty great. So I've got a lot of other simple, like common sense type of ideas that maybe you just haven't thought of that I have to share with you. Uh, look forward to one about oatmeal and chia seed breakfast. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.